Hey everybody, Shark Scrapper. I just got back from picking up an auction win. This was an old uh, PBX phone system. And what's really cool about it is I think the entire system is, is here. So we've got uh, this would have been the cooling system. You can see the fans there. So you got a base here for a cooling system that would have been driving air through the whole thing. We've got a couple of power modules right here. Pretty heavy, so there might be some batteries in there. Maybe some power converters, not sure. We've got a box here with miscellaneous stuff in it. But what's really cool is one, two, three board modules. And these are going to be a lot of fun. Here, let's see if we can get one of these out. Oh, dummy. Ooh, look at this. Isn't this interesting? So each one of these is is like a big IC. It's got a whole bunch of ICs on the back side of it. Look at this is a very interesting board. Chris, I'm really looking forward to what you think this board's going to be. Because there's lots of chips and things. And each one of these little daughter cards has a whole bunch of chips on the other side of it. This is very cool. Let's see here. Similar kind of arrangement. A little different, but, but very... Oh, this one is... This one, you can see some of the components on the reverse side. There's some very cool stuff here. Let's see, do you want to come out? This one's got a little bit different kind of lock to it. I don't know what. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Wow, not a whole lot on that one. You would have thought for the size of that board there would have been more on that. A couple of flat packs, an oscillator, some MLCCs, more MLCCs there. These things, probably not anything to get excited about. So, not a whole lot as far as that board is concerned. But we've got a whole lot of boards to get through because... There's three of these modules, and each one of them is just jam-packed with boards. So um, this is going to be a lot of fun going through, seeing what all we got here. All right, well, it's not going to happen while it's all sitting here. So I need to get to work, get things unloaded and staged just for taking stuff apart. We'll be back. <coughs> all right. Let's get at this uh, bad boy. Now... <clears throat> There were three of these trays. They're identical. So, um, might be a couple of differences in, in some of the boards, but I think the boards are all going to be somewhat the same. So, they've got these latches. Now, this is a very interesting board to start out here. We've got a little RAM. We've got a memory. Flash drive kind of looking thing here. Yeah, so Nortel Network Sand Disk, Compact Disk, so that's very cool. So this is kind of like a small motherboard here. Um, let's take a look at underneath there, see what's underneath of that real quick while we're here. Intel L42104 yeah anyway so that's an Intel chip there this would have been another uh, memory device kind of slot here so that's a oh and there's another battery over there so yeah this is a very nice card you know, uh, you're gonna, you can definitely put this with your higher grade cards. 
higher grade boards to your sellers. And for those of you that are into or have no choice but to uh, depopulate, <clears throat> so you've got flat packs. This is a little, tiny little gold corner BGA right here. Flat packs, ICs, nice chunky MLCCs, lots of yellow tantalums all over the place. A gold edged crystal oscillator. One, two, three, four, four gold edged crystal oscillators, plenty more MLCCs, flat packs, and such. So there's some real nice depopulation potential here. Nothing on the back uh, if you're into that or you have no choice but to do that. So a uh, peripheral high grade, uh, this is a very common card in this setup. So peripheral high grade. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. All right, this one's a little different. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, this is a nice, real nice card. We have down inside of there, I think you can see the gold, right? The gold plated pins right in there. That's very cool. Uh, we have got, I mean, it is just jam packed with ICs and flat packs. Uh, and nothing, nothing bad on this card once I get the risers off of here. So this is going to be a nice high grade. A uh, high-grade card. Another one of those ones that we just pulled out a little bit ago. They have lots of this kind of card. Lots of these. And this... This is interesting because this is just plastic. Hardly weighs anything at all. And it comes off really easy, so this will be an easy board to clean up to send off to, uh, oh, yeah, to send off to uh, board sort. Ugh, trash. Look at all this. Man. And more of it. Okay, now we've got some something that looks a little different. Let's see. It looks very different because it's just a metal plate. <laughs> All right, this one looks different. This one is a power board. So you can see down inside there, there's a nice power board uh, transformer that can go as a small motor. Nice big extruded aluminum heat sinks. So we will go ahead and get this taken apart and look at what the weights are of everything that's inside of here. All right, that's it for the boards. So now let's get at the back side, the other side. I'm assuming that's the back side. It flips very easily. So it, because this frame is aluminum, not steel. To get these cards out of the way here hang on all right so on the back side of the board we have these cables that are going in here each one of these has a small screw small keeper screw it's a flathead keeper screw so we'll get those out then we have a bunch of ribbon wire really inexpensive ribbon wire a big backplane board and then some metal frame to get out of the way so we're going to go ahead and work on getting all that taken apart. So it's because this is so lightweight, it's very easy for me to just pull things and move them around. So we get this, get these plugs disconnected. And this is a very skinny flathead uh, screwdriver. I find it's easier with these kind of short keeper screws to just do it manually.
the driver just gets going too fast. Especially with the flatheads. Let's get these plates out of the way. Got some little quarter inch. So the wire just has, this ribbon wire has another gold connector and it's just got two little wire clamps on either side of it. All right, so that's uh, one of those connector end plates with some more wire hanging on it. Now we need to get all this ribbon wire kind of out of the way here. So, a quick tug on the end pulls it right out. And there's a big back plane board in here. And there are some nice, big, serious gold-plated pins in there. Uh, there we go. Oh, one more. Come on, you. Okay. There's that ribbon wire out of the way. Let's get that plate out of the way. To get some more stuff out of the way before I can get to the back plane board. This screen here, are you a quarter inch? Nope. Let's see, what are you, what are you, what are you? Five sixteenths. It's a relatively common size. Now we have to get this back plate off. So this plate has to come off. And let's see, you. Let's go ahead and put the long extender on again. I think I can just go with, straight with the long extender. By the way, this long extender, uh, this is on my Amazon store. And yes, I get a small commission. 
if you follow the link and buy something from the Amazon store. Uh, but I use a portion of that proceed to go to the Shark Scrapper Shark Adoption Project. So thank you in advance for shopping there. If you have tools that you would like me to put up there, please let me know. I usually try to put up all the tools that I'm using to make it easy for you all to find them. the rest of that wire out of the way. Let's go ahead and get our back plane board. All right. I think that's all of the bolts. Yep, that's what it was. All right, so we have a real nice backplane board here, and I don't. I'm going to try to move this around a little bit so that you all can see the gold plating on the pins. Very nice gold plating on those pins. So if you are a gold recovery person, you're going to want to go after those pins. Uh, scrapping Irish, I know you probably need a few moments alone right now. And then on this side. Each one of these has also got gold-plated pins, and this bracket is held on by screws on the back. So this should be relatively easy to take this off and get at the gold-plated pins ugh, that are on this side as well. Boardsort.com has a category for backplane boards. If your yard does not, then probably mid-grade I would force them to go with mid-grade. I wouldn't let them get to all of this gold plating for low-grade. Boards were slotted into. We need to get that out. Because that's ferrous. And we have plastic shells that have to come off. sure I don't have any more screws hanging out here anywhere that I missed because the screws were all ferrous. All right now for the fun part let's see what we got out of all this. All right I am very pleased with the telephone equipment I have taken down the first of the board modules and the shred is only 23 pounds. You can see right there it says 24, but I have a little plastic bin that I put the small stuff in that weighs about a pound. So we're calling the shred 23 pounds. That's not much at all. Uh, most of the frame is aluminum. So here, let's look at the aluminum. The aluminum frame, and I've taken off all of the ferrous uh, screws and things that I can find. 
So the, the aluminum frame coming in at 30 pounds. That's, that's pretty nice. So that's just going to be cast aluminum there at 30 pounds. Very nice. Now you may recall there was a large power board. And this is coming in at 6 pounds. So the large power board, 6 pounds, but it had these two big knocking extruded aluminum heat sinks. And those are 3 pounds. So that's 3 pounds of extruded aluminum right there. And then 3 pounds for the power board. Okay, and then we have 10 pounds of insulated copper wire. It's a combination of the really cheap ribbon wire and heavier gauge wire. However, you can see there's going to be quite a bit of weight in these ends, which are gold connector ends. So there is an argument for cutting off those ends and putting them in with your gold connector ends at a dollar a pound at board sort. If your yard buys gold connector ends, your yard may require that you cut off the connector ends anyway. Mine does not. So I've got to decide which way I want to go on these. Cut those off for gold connector ends or leave them on the wire. These are also gold connector ends. So again, for me, it's a question because the only way I would get the gold connector end price is if I send them up to Chris at board sort, but it costs me a dollar a pound to ship stuff to Chris. So, you know, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a, it's a nothing there unless I'm just using them to take up space in a package already. All right, so 9.28 pounds of these lower grade boards. I still need to pull the face bracket off, but it's not metal, it's plastic. All right, and then here's the Telcom grade boards, 11.05. We still need to take off uh, some of the, some of them have some plastic bracket face on them, but that's pretty lightweight. I'm not worried about that. Um, but so 11 pounds of the Telcom grade. And these are some pretty nice boards, very densely populated. Hey, uh, Scrapping Irish, look at the gold pins on there. Oh, oh. All right, now we have a real nice backplane board here. Five pounds. Five pounds. There you go. Can you see them both at the same time? Yeah, well. So five pounds. I got to decide here. Well, there's a little metal still hanging on it. But I need to decide what I want to do with this backplane board because you can see there's a lot of really nice gold pins on there. As I move it around like that, you can see there are some really nice gold plating on those gold pins. And you can see the screws here are to release these brackets so you can get at these gold pins too. So, you know, if I was a, if I was a scrapping Irish kind of person, man, I'd be going after the gold pins on this thing for sure. Uh, for me, I don't know because I wasn't planning on doing any refining. So, but boy, those gold pins are so tempting. Well, I made my initial investment back just in that first module between the boards and the aluminum. We're doing great. And I've still got two more modules plus the power units and the air handler. So we're going to do really well on this auction win. I want to welcome Dan Powlitz into the Patreon world as a tiger shark. He joins fellow tiger sharks, the Merskills. Our whale sharks are Roger at CU Scrapping, Jay Wilson, Elliot Teeters, Chris at Board Sort, and Buck Strickland. And we have Hammerheads, Laura Furches, and Ulrich. Remember, you can also still donate through our PayPal at paypal.me forward slant shark scrapper. You can send me a good old-fashioned paper check. The mailing address is in the description down below. And now, 
YouTube has a new tool that you can use. It's called Super Thanks. If you look underneath the video there in the line, you'll see thanks. That's just like a super chat, but it's a super thanks on the videos. And that money will go towards the Shark Scrapper Shark Adoption Project 2 for 22 campaign. Have a great day, everybody. There's links taking you to more fun videos. We'll see you all on the next one.